uh, we want our our crews to get familiarized with the aircraft. And there's many, many, many things that you have to learn uh, when you're coming into an aircraft, particularly from a service perspective. Right, so a few things with regards to the 350 rollout. Indeed, we begin to fly uh, to Madrid. It'll be twice a day, uh, two return flights. You may wonder why Madrid. It makes a tremendous amount of sense because already our partner sister, like Iberia, has the 350. They've got, I think, five in total at the moment. They will be able to assist us with uh, turning the aircraft around, etc. From there on, we plan to take the uh, aircraft into service in Dubai, September 2nd, uh, Toronto, October 1st, Tel Aviv uh, in December, probably in the first half of December, and then Bangalore in uh, February. Uh, as you go a little bit into the future, we might make uh, small adjustments, but of course we are now getting more of the type over the coming months. The uh, aircraft itself, by now you will be very familiar with it, uh, 56 club suite seats, and uh, yes, uh, already well documented by most of you on a 1-2-1 one, one configuration uh, rather than 2-4-2 two, two, or 2-3-2 two, two on a similar aircraft. Uh, 56 <laughs> seats on, on World Traveler Plus and then 219 seats in, in economy. A, a very, very good configuration to substitute the 747 in some of the markets where we have seen just a tiny bit less of premium uh, demand. But with this uh, fantastic club suite, we will be able to address those markets uh, even better. The seat itself, I think you're um, uh, quite familiar. We've got nearly 11,000 uh, club seats that we have to work through over the next three to four years as we bring it in. And we are serving, after all, 95 long-haul destinations. And I'm pretty sure we'll be above 100 destinations by the time uh, the rollout of the seat uh, has uh, come through. The seat is just one part of the investment. It is a significant part of the investment. Of course, it's very visible. Uh, I was just talking to the crew downstairs, and it's extremely great to be with the crew because they see that investment coming through, not just in the food and the lounges, which they may or may not visit, but the seat, and seeing the passengers in the seat uh, will make a huge difference to them. But the investment is very much on the ground, uh, in the air, and other aspects of the air, and of course in our brand. In the ground, of course, you would know about the launches. We've opened up a bunch of new launches over the last 12 months uh, from New York, San Francisco recently, etc. We have Geneva, Johannesburg uh, coming up, and more. This is a program that will continue going and going, either getting new launches or completely redoing the launches where we operate. In the air, you already sampled, most of you, uh, Club World Food, World Traveler Class Food, Economy Class Food. And we will continue with the service, uh, improving the service across most of the classes, not just the food, but also the amenities. Uh, we believe that there's still scope to continue doing a number of things to, to the products, particularly the premium products. The seat itself, um, I think, once again, having read some of your ratings, uh, you're quite familiar with it. Direct aisle uh, access, one-to-one -one configuration, the privacy door, 40% uh, more storage, and new entertainment screen, quite, quite large, that will allow us to allows us to do gate-to-gate -gate, um, uh, entertainment. Now, let me tell you what other people are saying. Uh, these are passengers that are saying, wow, now I can finally put my mobile and charge it into either one of the two USBs that are there, and there's just a little bit of a gap there to be, to be able to run the wire. Okay, small things, small details that are really good. Uh, I'm not able to show this very well. And then another important detail, which today is challenging, uh, right around down here, there's a place to put in your water bottle. Uh, and it's fantastic to just be able to keep it there. It doesn't bother, it does not interfere with your feet or, or with anything else. And of course, there's a vanity mirror here on the right hand side. And if you're the right size, it works really well. Uh, so you can uh, look at how well you traveled on your way out. <laughs> and the last thing that I heard someone say the other day, which I hadn't thought about, is the seat has three screens. Um, it has the normal screen over here for uh, the normal IFE experience this screen for the adjustment of the seats and when you lift this lid there's the actual screen of the remote control uh, to be able to manage uh, the seat and um, uh, less the seat actually the, the entertainment system so overall uh, a, a much more equipped uh, seat and uh, the plans are to continue installing them as quickly as we can uh, throughout the year triple sevens will be next we hope to get two of them uh, this year and onwards uh, throughout uh, next year now, this is a big year for us, as you can imagine, and uh, if we had to pick a year when we launch uh, a new club uh, suite, a new club seat, this year is a fantastic year to do so. Mm -hmm.